We are in the bedroom and I'm just taking care of some laundry. And I have a very special video for you today because I'm gonna be trying on everything in my tiny closet. I share a really small closet with uh, my husband, Rob. It's just two and a half feet wide and I'm extremely picky about what I bring into my closet so that I make sure that I have just what I need and nothing more. We're gonna do a little bit of a wardrobe clean out for the end of the winter. And at the same time, I'm gonna show you how I maintain a small closet. And if you're new here, my name is Tina and I live in 400 square feet or 37 square meters. I talk all about living in a small space and making the most of it on this channel. So if that piques your interest, then give me a follow. This is gonna be a big undertaking, so let's get into it. This is what we're dealing with. The top bar of this closet is all of my husband's stuff, and this is my stuff down here. Rob actually also uses these shelves, and those are some of his tools and kind of workout equipment there. But yeah, basically what I'm dealing with is this section of the closet for all my hung stuff. I also have two sliding drawers which give me room for more folded items. So as you can see here, I have bras, there are socks back there, a bunch of white tees. And on the second, I have more socks and those are workout gear items. Clearly that's not a lot of clothing. So I also have these storage bins under the bed, which I use for things like sweaters. And on the other one, I have jeans. Now it's late winter, so I actually have all my spring summer storage in a couple of bins that are right above my fridge. But I'm gonna try everything on in my current rotation so that you can see what I'm working with to give me a good mix and balance for my own style. And it's also gonna help me get a sense of the things that I'm wearing less of so that maybe I can part with them and give them a new home and make room for new things for the coming season. To do this properly, we're gonna need a bit of extra room. So I'm going to pull everything out and bring you into my living room. That is most of the stuff in my closet and we're gonna start with sweaters. So I think this is a perfect example of something that I really didn't get a lot of wear out of over the last season. This Lulu Studios uh, cashmere v-neck sweater. It is really nice. I feel like the quality is really good and the shape is okay. I guess what I don't love about it is the color on me. I feel like it washes me out a little bit and as you can see I'm going for more grays and blacks and creams these days. So I feel like this one is maybe one that I could say goodbye to. Uh, maybe consign it or sell it on Poshmark and make more room in my wardrobe for something that I love to come. Okay, now that we're all through with the sweaters, let's do the next biggest segment of my wardrobe, which is my jeans.
Okay, we are done with the denim and unsurprisingly, I am not letting go of any. They're all keeps. And I think that's just a sign that I have invested in my denim over the last couple of years and really made decisions and choices around the pieces that I love the most. So I'm really proud of the collection that I've accumulated these last couple of years. And I think all of these are keeps and it's a good reminder for me when I go shopping that maybe I don't need jeans. So with sweaters and jeans down, we're now in sort of the last segment of my wardrobe, which is all my hung stuff. So there's kind of a mixture of long sleeve tops, short sleeve tops, um, some jackets in the mix, some vests. So next we're just gonna go through all of those pieces and we'll decide what to keep or what to let go of. So this cardigan is a really good example of something that I probably shouldn't have bought because I just know better. I tend not to purchase things that are not made of natural fibers um, and specifically if there's like high counts of polyamide or plastic in them, I just know that they're not going to hold up and that's exactly what happened with this. Um, it's really hard to tell maybe on camera, but it's very, very pilled and I've only had it for the one season. So I think that that's a lesson learned to um, spend a little bit more money up front and wait for the right item rather than buying some fast fashion pieces. This one's from Wilfred and I think I could have done better in this case. So lesson learned. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but the same is actually true for this charcoal gray turtleneck, which I also brought from Wilfred um, also earlier this year. It has just not held up the way it's supposed to. I feel like it's stretched out in places. I've only washed it once and I followed the washing instructions, but it just goes to show these pieces don't last unless they're well constructed and are made of materials that are going to be predictable when you try to care for them. So word to the wise, don't waste your money by buying things that um, really are not constructed well and are not made of fabrics that are going to last over the long haul. I think this is going to be something I'm going to part with. Okay, phew, that about does it for all of the clothing. Uh, there's a couple of things that I'm not planning on trying on because I know they're definite yeses. So these white overalls by Jillian Stevens, they're a definite keep. And I've got a few pairs of black dress pants that I'll also be keeping, as well as this dress by Acme Studios. So uh, I'm not gonna bother trying those on for you because those are obvious keeps for me. The other thing that I've left out of this video you probably would notice is workout wear and lounge wear and I think those are best left for another day. But yeah, hopefully that shows you my full wardrobe and although it is quite small, there are a lot of uh, different mixes of pieces in there that give me versatility. 
And it gives me a lot of joy to know that there isn't really much room there for items that I want to part with. It means that I'm making decisions that are really staying true to my own personal style and making sure that that expression is authentic year after year. But in terms of the items that I am choosing to let go of, there are three. So we talked about them. There are these two pieces by Wilfred that were just poor quality. And I would say the fabric composition isn't something that's going to last over the long haul. So probably shouldn't have purchased those to begin with. And the other item is this sweater by Lulu Studios, which is higher quality. But I would say that the color and the shape and style isn't really something that suits me. So uh, probably best to give it to another home. I want to talk to you more about how it is that I do keep this small wardrobe so versatile and working for me year over year and season over season. So uh, let's walk through my process next. Okay, let's get cozy here. So let's talk about how it is that I keep a small wardrobe because to be honest, it takes work. The first part that you just watched was part of my process. So normally I do a big call at the end of the season to make sure that anything that isn't working for me gets removed and I don't have any noise or clutter left over. Generally, when it comes to my closet and other stuff in my home as well, I try to follow a one in one out rule, which basically means that if there's something I'm bringing into the home, I will swap it out for something that is no longer working for me. So I try to do that, but things do get out of hand sometimes with the wardrobe and doing an end of season call can kind of uh, get things back on track where they need to be. I also use the end of season call to help me just get a sense of what is and isn't working for me and take note of it. I think we tend to buy things over and over again, and sometimes we don't realize things that we are picking up are not working for us anymore. So. In terms of my planning for the next season, I've mentioned that I keep my spring and summer stuff actually in a space just above my fridge. You can see those bins there. That is my stash for spring and summer. Once the weather's a little bit warmer, I'll be pulling all of that out and then I will also be planning ahead for the season. What I like to use for that is uh, Pinterest. I find it to be a really helpful tool for organizing my ideas and thoughts and just getting a sense of what I want the season to feel like. Even though I am dealing with a new board each season, it's often full of looks that I've carried over from previous years. So I'm not really looking to change up my style too much at this point, but simple tweaks here and there that I know that I might wanna focus on. For example, something that we're seeing a lot of this spring that I'm really excited about is mesh flats and peplum tops. So I'll probably be looking for those um, to add to my wardrobe for the coming season. And so that ends up going on something called my watch list. The watch list is literally a list that I keep on my notes app and it's just the items that I know that I, I want or will be looking for this season. It helps me to stay on track when I go shopping so I'm not caught off guard with anything that feels like a deal but also not like a thought out purchase. It also helps me to have some distance uh, oftentimes we'll purchase something and then decide later on that it isn't really us or we don't really want it. So I usually wait when something is on a watch list to make sure that it's something that I want and I'm going to add to my wardrobe to last for a while. So the watch list is just a helpful tool that keeps me restrained when I feel like I might be tempted by impulse buys. And all of those things are things that really help me to keep my wardrobe small and only full of the things that I use and need and actually like. So I hope you found these tips helpful. If you liked this video, it would really help me out if you would hit the like and subscribe. So thanks for watching. I'm going to drink this tea now because I've been talking too much and it's getting cold. So I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye.